Time to change the disk drive. Now, for whatever reason, Yamaha decided when they built these machines to put in a disk drive with a non-standard PC connector. So a PC connector is a block connector. It's about yay, yay wide. Um, in actual fact, it's probably about the same size as the connector goes into the board. Um, and what Yamaha did was they, they decided to use a non-standard connector. For whatever reason, that's what they did. They also, at this point in time, put disk drives with belts in them. It was standard at the time to have a disk drive driven by a belt. The belt is the Achilles heel of the disk drives on these particular machines. Um, so what I've done is I've bought an aftermarket mod. There's my aftermarket mod. It's a more modern disk drive. Um, and on the back of this, the vendor has already sold, has already done the modification for me to attach the ribbon cable that needs to be attached to fit the machine. So that's all been done. It's all there. So theoretically, this is a direct drive version. That is a belt drive version. This is far more robust than that is. So now all that remains really is to put this in there. So let's get on with it. Remember, like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Go over to Instagram and follow me there. Go over to Facebook, follow me there. That's where the normal notices are. And consider becoming a Patreon. Now getting to the disk drive is relatively easy in these things. Um, first you have to disconnect the cable, which is this one here. Just a firm pull and that's disconnected. And then we've got three screws. There's one there, there's one there, and there's one at the back, which my trusty screwdriver should make short work of. So let's... And of course it gets stuck. So I need my magnetic pull. There you go. Screw one. Two. Screw it straight. And then with a little bit of luck and a little bit of jiggery pokery, out comes the disk drive. Um, and as you can see, it's um, a little bit dusty. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put something over here. Give me a sec. Because I want to put something on there. Right, the reason why I want to put something there is because I've got to now undo, get the disk drive out of the caddy, which is four more screws, one, two, three, four. And I wanted to do it on camera without having to move the synthesizer. So a piece of cardboard does the trick. So there's screw number one. And straight away, we can see why this disk drive was not working. Um, As you can see, there are bits of drive belt. You know, there's a bit of drive belt like that that are not attached. So if this thing with here was spinning, this was not spinning. 
there they are, there's another bit of drive there that looks like it's kind of welded into the frame. So that explains why the disc drive wasn't working. I wonder whether I might actually get a drive belt for it, just to make it serviceable again. Um, but we'll take that out and put that away. And then we've got the new one, which theoretically is just a plug and play. Sounds of it. disc back in the caddy. Let's get rid of the cardboard. Just put that down there for a sec. Now there is under here, let's make sure we get the, don't trap any cables, but there is actually under here two locator lugs that go into those two points there. So that one there and that one there and the screw goes there. So what you need to do is you push the front part through until you are on the locator lugs, like so, and this needs to go under and away. place and now three screws to put it back. And there you go, that's the disk drive replaced. So the only two jobs that we needed to do on this machine was just replace the disk drive and change the battery. So we've achieved both of those. I've made sure that there's five volts running across the terminal on the battery, so with a bit of luck, when I fire the machine up, it should be good to go. I just need to do, go through the reload procedure. And that's that for this piece. So, 
I'll see you next time. Live long and prosper. Bye bye.